Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be giving you guys some basic advice for Christian high schoolers because as a Christian high schooler, sometimes it's like really hard to just put two and two together and like make your life not be awful. So today we're just going to be going over a couple of those things. The first topic is Christianity. It's just going to be basic things just Christian things. Um, the first thing that you can do is pray before school lunch or breakfast if your school offers it. Just say a quick little prayer, whether you're in front of your friends, you can just close your hands, bow your head, thank you God, please heal, please open to nourish my body, say amen. It's as simple as it needs to be. Um, another thing that you can do is carry a small Bible around, so if any of your friends are curious about the faith, you can read it, lend it to them a bit, or even give it to them if that you feel if that's what God is calling you to do in that time. One more thing that you can do is You just do whatever works for you. The next thing is hygiene. Hygiene is super important, so I highly suggest that you shower every day. Um, wash your hair depending on your hair type. As someone with super straight and kind of medium thick hair, I wash my hair once or twice a week. Next is homework. Homework is such a time consuming thing, and especially with a lot of countries and places in the U.S., if you live here, still having it, it's a big step. So it's kind of difficult to manage and really squeeze it into your day, especially since you never really feel like doing it. So one of the main things that I would suggest is do your homework either an hour before dinner or right after dinner. Um, so honestly, I like to, I normally come home at about 4.15, um, and then I will eat dinner at 5.30, and 4.15, I'm going to be just a chill time, and I just got this yesterday, so I'm still new to it. But I'm gonna blur this out. This is what 
my page looks like. You don't have to fill it all in. It's completely your book, your life. Like, you choose how much you want to fill. Just write in however you feel. And normally, I honestly would suggest doing it right before bed. So I, I would like to get in the habit of journaling and then reading a book and then going to bed, like, right after. Um, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. The last thing I want to talk about today is friendships. Friendships are such a hard thing to wrap your brain around. Um, I'm struggling with this so much right now. But we're working on it. So we'll get there eventually. Um, yeah, so with friends, it's kind of hard to, to find good friends. So the first thing is types of friends that you're looking for. So when you're looking for friends, try your best to find friends that are faithful, that are Christian, that are Just know that if God has pulled you into one, it's probably so that you can grow closer to him. He doesn't want you to live your life without friends, and friends will come. It's just God is saying, okay, friends are being a distraction, so let's pull them out of the way for a bit, so you can come to me, and then give you some new friends um, and that's a really important that's just a really important thing for us to comprehend and wrap our mind around because it's a difficult topic and nobody really talks about the lonely friends just about how good of friends they have and how much they love their best friend um, but lonely periods are just as important as periods where you have close friends I hope you found this video super helpful and let me know if there's any other advice or videos.